Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in Itty Plains where we are going to fly from Halifax to St. John's in a Hawker Sidley Trident. A very unique sort of aircraft. It is a freeware aircraft uh, by Michael Wilson who has also some payware aircraft but this is somewhat outdated. I think it was made for an earlier version of X-Plane and so the cockpit in particular um, needs some work frankly speaking. And But otherwise it's functional at least and it's nice to have it as freeware. Uh, so, yeah, and especially since it's a somewhat uncommon airliner uh, to see around. And, yeah, so we'll fly this over to St. John's while, of course, listening to the Apollo 12 audio. Uh, we are picking up from the start of day two, and uh, we will see what hijinks ensue after a pretty interesting day one. So, starting the audio now. Uh... They had their wake up, uh, Pete Conrad woke up early. Hopefully the audio has been entertaining enough for you guys. And so uh, with that playing and hopefully the sound balance alright. Let me make sure I have my map in place. And it looks like we're ready to go from Halifax. Rolling up. Interesting, uh, this plane has the sound suppressors on the two side engines, but well, not on the tail on one, down, because the tail one is not close to the passenger cabin. An older airliner, whoa, my brother is not... I do not have uh, rudder pedals, I'm using a twist rudder on the joystick and that's why. I sort of wiggle that a little bit more than I ought to. We are using real world weather uh, and... Well, Houston, we'll continue to manage your antennas here until you tell us that you're ready to take control of them. And I have a consumables update for you. And it said it was stormy out. Okay, uh, Houston, uh, we're so we'll let you manage them for a while longer, and uh, I'm ready to copy the update. Okay, the update was uh, at 26.50. Your total RCS is 83.2. Reading alpha through delta, we have 80.5. 86.5. Eight zero point eight, eight five point four. Your H two is eight seven point eight and eight five point six. O two is eight seven point zero and eight seven point one. Over. Roger, 12 copies. Serious weather uh, hurts frame rates somewhat, but it's good for the looks as far as passing through the clouds is concerned. They're still at it. Uh, stand by and I'll get a recap on it, Pete. But then again, I don't think you easily get over the fact that your rocket has been struck by lightning. So, you know. Nope. That's just one of those things you're, uh... You gotta be chuckling over for the rest of your life, I think, at that point. Especially if you survive it. Seems to want to roll left for some reason. When I let go of the joystick. I'm 
letting go and yeah I'm just gonna use some aileron trim I don't know uh, what else 12 to do. Houston nothing new to report that uh, they're still considering it from uh, two three aspects but uh, nothing firm yet okay I like three engine airliners. I like the 727 and the L1011 as well. DC-10 I wasn't all too fond of. And that's interesting in context because Pete Conrad well, actually... Houston, we got a half dozen or so scores of ball games in progress if you're interested. Pete Conrad okay, actually... Go ahead worked defending okay, the legacy of the DC-10 and... Navy, 15 to nothing. In the third quarter, Yale is leading Princeton 14 to 7. In the first quarter, Texas 21, TCU nothing. In the third quarter, Houston's ahead of North Carolina State 34 to 7. In the third quarter, Michigan State is leading Minnesota 7 to nothing. In that big game in the Big Ten in the third quarter, it's now Ohio State 40 and Purdue 7. Okay, thank you. Ed Roger, Paul, uh, this is Dick. Uh, I understand that the University of Washington is homecoming this weekend. Wish them well for me, please. Okay, sure will. We'll pass that on. Sounds like I should have already done it. Wish Princeton well a little earlier. Maybe it's not too late. Oh, it's only <laughs> in the first quarter. Maybe it'll still work. Okay. And I guess Texas doesn't need any help. Apparently not. Yeah, Pete Conrad worked for McDonnell Douglas, and the DC-10 got a bad rap. Pete Conrad is a graduate of Princeton. Dick Gordon, a graduate of the University of Washington, and Al Bean is a University of Texas graduate. So yeah, when the DC-10 got bad rap, uh, he worked to try and defend it. Wasn't entirely successful on that. This is Apollo Control at 28 hours, 42 minutes. Apollo 12 is 111,436 nautical miles from Earth. Velocity 4,525 feet per second. We're still over Nova Scotia right now. Can't really see it very well because of all the clouds. Wind is with us, more or less. Don't know what that carrier is doing there. The game seems to uh, dump this carries all over the place. At 28 hours, 50 minutes. And this is a quiet time as the crew has breakfast. We'll take down this release line now and come back up uh, when there's further conversation. Yeah, that is one of the reasons why it's tough to remember about the pressurization in the 737 because, well, this one doesn't have uh, functional pressurization that I have to tune the altitude for, and neither do a lot of the airliners. Some do, though, and that always well, ca catches me by surprise. 29 hours, 2 minutes. We are in contact with the crew, uh, passing up some pads for the mid-course correction. Here's that conversation. Well, Houston, uh, we're not trying to press you, but we've got your uh, uplinks and your pads ready whenever you're ready. Okay, <laughs> we'll give you the uh, computer right now, and uh, and uh, Al will be ready to copy the pad in just a second. 
Okay, and also for information, uh, the burn attitude for MCC2 will also be a good attitude for P52 and for all your star checks if you want to come out of PTC and just go right to that attitude. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Ready to copy. The computer is uh, yours. It's in full and accept, and Al's ready to copy. All right, this MCC2. SPS GNN. This uh, mid course three, correction. Two, eight, four. Plus zero nine or six. Minus zero two five. Zero three zero. Five two. Four three six eight. Minus zero zero six. Zero one. Minus zero zero one two six plus zero 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 five six zero three four zero diner five three 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 the noun forty four blocks are not applicable zero zero six one seven Zero zero niner. Zero zero five seven two. Sexton star two two. One five zero five. Three zero niner. Your boresight star is Vega. Zero three six. Up. Two five zero zero deflection up and down that is correction left and right. <laughs> Come on. The rest of the pen is right. NA. Your GDC align stars are Sirius one five, Rigel one two. The angles are two five six. One five two zero six niner. No ullage. Lem weight. Three three five eight five. Over. Okay, Houston. That's six three two eight four plus zero nine six minus zero two five. Zero three zero five two four three six eight minus zero zero six zero one minus zero zero one two six plus zero 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 five six zero three four zero nine five three 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 NA NA zero zero six one seven zero zero nine Zero zero five seven two 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 one five zero five three zero nine Vega zero three six up two five zero 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 set stars are zero one five Rigel one two two five six one five two zero six nine no wallage map weight three three five eight five that's all of Charlie, Al. 12, Houston, the computer's yours. Roger. Oh, we can see the land briefly as the clouds reset there. The... The scenery, the, the weather is updated every 15 minutes, I believe. So, clouds briefly disappear and reappear during that time. Yes, we are still over Nova Scotia, which is surprisingly big. Underrated as far as size is concerned sometimes, because it's sitting next to like Quebec on the maps and stuff like that. Well, there's a New Brunswick as well. Newfoundland is pretty hefty as well.
This is Apollo Control at 29 hours, 16 minutes. We're a little less than one minute away from the time when Apollo 12 will be equal distance between the Earth and the Moon at uh, 29 hours, 16 minutes, 53 seconds. Apollo 12 will be 112,899 nautical miles from the Earth and from the Moon. Being halfway in distance, of course, does not mean halfway in time, because there's constantly slowing down with the Earth pulling at them. It's pretty slow going, getting close to the moon. Mark equal distance, and the velocity is 4,470 feet per second. Oh, all right, I'll do the conversion for you. <laughs> 4,470 feet per second. Mid-course correction. Number two will be performed at an elapsed That's time 1,362 meters hours, per second. 52 minutes, 44 seconds. Duration of the service propulsion system burn will be 8.8 .8 seconds. Delta V, 61.7 feet per second. This maneuver will take Apollo 12 off the free return trajectory, put it on the hybrid trajectory, and make its closest approach to the moon if it does not burn a lunar orbit insertion 60 nautical miles. On the free return, uh, Apollo 12's closest approach was approximately 1,800 nautical miles. However, on this hybrid uh, trajectory, closest approach without Lunar orbit insertion will be 60 nautical miles. Okay, so again, uh, they're currently traveling at 1,362 meters per second or 3,000 miles an hour, which is about an eighth what they were traveling at just after translunar injection. So, pretty big drop off in speed. As Kerbal players would expect. As far as the free return trajectory, that's about Green, timing. Princeton, oh. 14. More scores, apparently. And Farrell, Texas is leading TCU at the half, 24 to 7. Washington, they haven't started on the West Coast. In the fourth quarter, fourth quarter that is, Pitt is leading Army, 12 to 6. Dave's next to me, he just cringed at that. The final, Penn State beat Maryland, 48 to nothing. Final, Houston beat North Carolina State, 34 to 13. Here's a big one in the third quarter. Mississippi is leading Tennessee, 31 to nothing. The final, the Ohio State-Purdue game. Ohio State on top, 42 to 14. Minnesota beat Michigan State, 14 to 10. In the first quarter, Arkansas is leading SMU, 14 to 12. At half, Rice is leading A and M seven to nothing. And uh, <laughs> some Rice uh, fans in the back now. there. Okay, appreciate it very much. Thank you. Some people might remember uh, John John F Kennedy's quip: "Why does Rice play Texas?" As an example of uh, very difficult things. And Dave that Scott, the backup crew commander, has joined Paul White's at the Capcom console. Dave, who cringed at that score, is a graduate of the military academy. Right on the red line here. Maybe I should climb a bit more.
12 Houston, you're go for MCC2. Again, Apollo mid course correction. I think I left the silences in this bit a bit too long. I'm tempted to fill in the gaps. But, you know, I set an arbitrary rule of one minute pauses as what I would delete. And this one was in a minute. They're about to start talking. Houston, I have some high gain angles for you for the burn. Okay, Houston, go. Okay, that'll be pitch minus eight five, yaw plus two eight. And when you get to the burn attitude, would you give us narrow beam width, please? Okay, pitch uh, minus uh, eight five, yaw plus two eight, and when we're in the burn attitude, go to narrow beam width. Pretty tight limb, and uh, it's going to have to be purged some. I We've got think we options. missed something there. The flight plan calls for a CSM purge at 36 hours. The other option is to vent the limb down now. Instead of doing that, uh, the pros and cons are that uh, the cabin purge, a CSM cabin purge, takes longer and does slightly perturb the post-burn tracking. Now, all other things being equal, and if it meets with your approval, we'd like to request that you uh, vent the limb down now, over. Not too sure about the purpose of all this venting, uh, to be honest. Uh, uh, this is Houston, you're broken. Say again. Uh, how far do you want it vented? Okay, we'd like... Uh, to vent to a delta P of about 1.5 to 1.6. This should take about 30 to 45 minutes to go from the present 0.7 to those values, over. So right now the differential between the CSM and LEM is pretty low. That's affirmative. And they basically want to purge okay. LEM more. There's the torquing angles. You copy? We've only got one so far. There they come. We're, we over, we're over water now. Okay, parking on my mark. Mark. Got it. So, past Nova Scotia, head for Newfoundland. 
Probably about a third of the way there. Oh, Apollo 12, Houston. I have a status report on a Phoenix 200 if you want it, Pete. Okay. Okay, Al Unser is leading after 59 laps. Mario Andretti is second. Bobby Unser is third. A.J. Foyt was forced out of the race. Uh, my information doesn't indicate when. He was running with the leaders, and his car was damaged in a collision. There were no injuries. Roger, roger. Unfortunately, scenery-wise, the next leg is also sort of boring over water. This is Apollo Control at 29 hours, 55 minutes. Apollo 12's distance now is 114,559 nautical miles. Velocity 4,405 feet per second. We're 56 and a half minutes away from the mid-course maneuver. and we should have uh, television coverage during this maneuver. Scheduled uh, start of TV is at an elapsed time of 30 hours, 25 minutes. That's uh, 4.47 p.m. Central Standard Time. We will have the capability to uh, pick up uh, slightly earlier than that. And that if uh, the crew decides they'd like to come in a little early, as they did yesterday. Now, on the bright side, the next leg will be done with the Concorde, a freeware Concorde. So, that'll somewhat mitigate the fact that we're going to be flying over water and there isn't going to be too much scenery. Roger 12, thank you, and your platform looks real good, no updates. Okay. Hello 12, Houston, a hot flash on the Phoenix 200, Pete. Uh, <laughs> Al Unser and Mario Andretti collided with each other, oh, and geez. Bobby Unser is now in the lead. Okay, very good. Conrad was an avid race car driver, so. This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 30 hours, uh, four minutes now into the flight of Apollo 12. Uh, we're currently having a uh, changeover in flight control teams uh, in mission control. At uh, the present time, uh, Pete Frank is uh, manning the uh, flight director's console, uh, replacing Jerry Griffin. And uh, members of his orange flight control team are taking their places at their respective consoles. As uh, was reported earlier, uh, mid-course correction two is uh, currently scheduled for a ground elapsed time of 30 hours, 52 minutes, uh, 43 seconds. Uh, this is done with the service uh, propulsion system engine. Uh, time of burn, or burn duration, 8.8 uh, .8 seconds. Uh, for this burn, uh, Apollo 12 uh, will be yawed around 168 degrees, uh, making the burn itself uh, close to retrograde. Without the burn, uh, or if we did not do this mid-course correction to burn, the point of closest approach uh, for Apollo 12 uh, with the moon would be 714.9 uh, nautical miles. With this 
latest update on the Phoenix 200. That collision was between Mario Andretti and Bobby Unser. Al Unser still has the lead. <laughs> very important to correct okay, that. Very good. Uh, you know how uh, how far along they are in the race? No, we don't know right now, Pete. We'll get it for you. Okay. With the burn itself uh, performed as programmed, uh, it should bring Apollo 12 within 60 nautical miles as a point of a closest approach uh, to the to the uh, moon. At uh, 30 hours, 6 minutes into the flight of Apollo 12, this is Apollo Control, Houston. 60 nautical miles is a little over 100 kilometers, roughly 100 kilometers. This is Apollo Control Houston, uh, three hours, uh, 10 minutes now to the flight Apollo 12. We currently show the Apollo 12 spacecraft at an altitude of 115,165 uh, nautical miles above the Earth. Its velocity now reads uh, 4,382 feet per second. In Mission Control Center, uh, we're currently configured uh, for receipt of uh, our next television transmission, uh, which is nominally expected uh, some 15 minutes uh, from this time. This is Apollo Control Houston standing by. Well, and suddenly the clouds end, which is good because I would rather not have too many clouds over the landing location. And we are approaching Newfoundland. Uh, we're definitely past the halfway point. Uh, can't really give you an estimate on exactly how far in distance we are right now, but we're chugging along. Things have sort of died down a little bit. As the sun sets, it uh does interesting things to the water. 12, Houston, uh, can you give us a readout on the uh, LEM command module Delta P now, please? Okay, just a second, let me go up there. I had a clock running for a while. I'm just going to check it in a minute. Yeah, we just want to get a hack on the rate. Understand, and uh, here on the ground we're configured for TV. Okay, we're just setting it up in here, and uh, the uh, we'll go back to left tunnel vent. You want to go to one to six, right? That's affirmative. Uh, between one point five and one point six. Okay, it's back at vent. Gotcha. So there was supposed to be a SpaceX launch today, and I just noted that it is scrubbed for fa uh, for unfavorable weather conditions. That's CRS-18. But uh, well, by the time you're listening to this, you will have known about that, or otherwise uninterested. Hey, while the astronauts are keeping up with news, I've got my own news. I don't pay attention to race car drivers, but I do pay attention to rocket launches. In this direction, it's sort of eerie how well the water reflects the sky. 
And so it looks like an interesting cloud layer right there in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we okay, while we're getting a reading on the uh, TV, Pete, they, uh, they stopped the race in Phoenix after 84 laps because of rain, if you can believe it. And they're going to uh, wait a while and then restart when it slacks off. Shocking. Okay, thank you. The race was scrubbed for weather, too. Seems like the only thing that launches in unfavorable weather is a rocket launch. Right, Pete Conrad? Well, his rocket launch anyway. Not the Falcon 9. Probably for the best. This is Apollo Control Houston, uh, 30 hours, uh, 15 minutes into the flight, uh, Apollo 12. Uh, Jerry Carr is uh, in the Mission Control Center now, uh, replacing Paul Weitz as our uh, uh, capsule communicator. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we're standing by for uh, receipt of television transmission at just about any time. At uh, 30 hours, uh, 15 minutes into the flight, uh, this is Apollo Control Houston. Houston, uh, we're ready for TV whenever you are, Pete. I'd still love to see okay, these TV uh, clips. We'll be coming at you in just a second. Roger. Don't know where they're hanging out. Apollo Control, Houston, uh, you heard that response uh, from Commander Pete Conrad uh, indicating that uh, they should be coming at us with the television. At we're giving you the TV. We'll be coming up Fox and uh, just uh, let you watch what happens during the burn. Roger. We're giving you the TV. We're receiving television now. Watch what happens during the burn. I Roger. think the repeat of that was the one on the TV. Okay, I guess I'm on Fox now. I'd be expecting to see Newfoundland by now. We can see edges of it on the map already. Okay, Dick, I don't think your box is set quite right yet. Sort of feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere here. Really should be seeing land by now. Okay, let's see. The clock's in sync now. They're in sync. 34, 27, and 25. And uh, Houston, do you want us to uh, run the tape recorder during this TV or not? Hmm. Stand by. Yeah, we're concerned about the high bit rate while operating the TV. Uh, 12, Houston, uh, better run the tape just during the burn. Okay. Would you would you take the monitor? 
monitor and put it someplace for a second, and Dick Hamby then put it over here. Two ladies, so I go up and check at Delta P and the Lamakin. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we've got just a little bit to go. You got all your shoulder straps tucked away where they won't go anywhere. We're at 1.4. Water. Bang. Okay, you need to drink a water, Dick? No. Okay. Well, let's see. We've got to do something with the water gun. Let's stick her down here. Can. Put that thing on, can you? Oh, we've got land now, I see. And some boats. You will. That's super. There you go. I'll hold on to Tuli. I, I've got a... About time. Serious haze around here. Shut off the vent a minute. Eh? We're almost there. The first storage bag falls off the wall. We're going to have garbage all over. Oh, there's an airport right there, even. That's the island of St. Pierre. And it's on the little airport. That up ahead is Newfoundland proper. We just had some islands over here.
Apollo 12 now 115,735 uh, nautical miles in altitude. That's essentially Pete Conrad and Dick Gordon talking back and forth in the spacecraft. Okay, I think I'm going to begin the descent here. Oh, we've still got a fair ways to go. This is a lot of Newfoundland. That's uh, Pete Conrad uh, wearing the ball cap that uh, you're seeing on your screen. We can do that right now. Okay, waste of water dump coming up. Hey Al, you want to check the, want to watch the gauge? Okay. okay. Hey, on Houston, we're going to dump the wastewater down to 25 percent at this time. Roger, 12. We're okay, standing by. Check. Bottom. Okay, okay. get that is closed, and I'm going to dump A. Okay. There you go. And you got 50 percent around there. 49. Okay. Ah. Do I need the other boat? I'm going to read 1.0. Houston, I'm reading 1.5 on the left LPC gauge now, but I think I'll let it go to 1.6 because the gauge has about a cut there and it, when it's equal. Okay, Pete, that sounds fine. How's the wastewater doing now? It's doing good. It's just down to about 45. Okay. And how's the focus on the TV? We for a little fashion show here, Troop. Well, you got it. There's space qualified beta cloth and all those good things. Roger. Capcom's got one, too. Outstanding. You got a propeller on yours? <laughs> no, just one guy got a propeller. Well, that's what I figured. I'm just like you guys. How's the waste water, Al? It's good. Go up. How much is it? In the Mission Control Center uh, at the Capcom's console is a cap uh, the same as the one that Pete Conrad is wearing, except it, it, it's identified on the bill as Capcom. 
Okay. Does that mean the Capcoms hand it to each other, or? Okay, that's twenty-five percent. Or they all get a separate one. Okay, wastewater. And not entirely clear. We need more information. Pressure relief is from dump A back to two. Audible inlet is coming open. There you go. That's it. You know, one square away. The lamp that's good enough. It ought to be just about one point six. Yeah, I'll get the storage compartment. There we go. Let CM Delta P. Uh, oh, exactly. new clouds. Okay. Great. Yeah, right, Roger, 12, you can terminate. Okay, let's put the tool over there. Uh, let me open my belt. There we go. And we're in clouds. Still descending. 26,000 feet in descending, so we've got a long way to go. What's the best angle for this? Maybe there? Uh, 12 Houston, uh, uh, focus is know. just a shade fuzzy now. It was better earlier. The windshield okay, panels look a bit weird. Like they're just squares layered on. Complicates matters. Uh, it's getting worse now. Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty good now, 12. Uh, still not as good as it was at first. So we are here approaching CYYT St. John's. We need to go a bit more this way. There's one of those mysterious carriers again. I have quite a lot of those. But then again, you know, if you got a plane like the F-18 that can land on a carrier, you might need a lot of carriers around to facilitate that experience. And I do have an F-A-18. I think the tuning fork has something to do with their event timer issue. Yeah, that's how I get around the spacecraft. I turn on my propeller. <laughs> oh no. I think he really does have a cap with a propeller on it or a rotor on it. thought that was a joke, but... Okay, we are approaching 10,000 feet and I want to slow down. Got seriously pink or violet clouds depending on how you identify this particular shade. Okay, we are 250 knots and we will continue descent. We are here at the moment. You can see the profile of uh, Dick Gordon now. Meanwhile, we're uh, 15 and a half minutes away from scheduled time of ignition. So much work to do a minor burn, minor correction burn, like 20 meters per second it is, I think. over a place called Spaniards Bay, which I don't know which Spaniard was involved here. There you are. But there are a lot of interesting names around here, like there's a string called Hearts Desire, Hearts Content, and Hearts Delight Dash Islington. And uh, there's a Salmon Cove that's more regular. Clark's Beach. There's a Portugal Cove, a Petty Harbor, a Pouch Cove, Looks all like sorts of things. Really did the job yesterday, didn't it? Yeah, I think I've gone. Apollo 12 now 116,315 or 51 nautical miles above the Earth. There we go. Blow the clouds finally, hopefully on a reasonably permanent sure takes basis. A long time for whenever you dump anything, it sure takes a long time for it to dissipate out there. It really hangs with us. 
Yep, it would. Well, I can see the airport. Uh, it's a nice, clear east-west runway. Okay, I'm gonna take Flight the gear down. Three, Houston, we've all been enjoying the food pretty much. A lot better in Germany. Real fine, Pete. Nice to have hot coffee this morning. There's a Bell Island Airport down below on this island in front of us. Not the one we're going for, but... You're around here and decide that you really don't want to land at St. John's International. Maybe an option. We're 12 minutes away now from scheduled time of ignition for uh, mid-course correction number two burn. Generally, it seems like they schedule a lot of potential mid-course corrections and then cancel most of them. So... This is one of the ones they're actually going to do. So uh, we're configured Paul, right Paul, now. Houston, uh, I'll be giving you a 10-minute time hack in about a minute and a half. Okay, stand it by. And remember, they're, they're having timer issues, so... But the time hacks are typical. Oh, he was about to say. Yeah, when Dick's up here by himself, uh, this uh, patient timer we have on the uh, panel 2 is virtually useless. It uh, changes time both plus and minus, and uh, it's just not working at all. Right. Roger. One down the LAB. One down the LEBs keep a pretty good time. Again, LEB is the lower equipment bay. Apollo 12, now 116,500 nautical miles above the Earth. seconds to go. Okay. Looks like we're pretty well in time. Right with you. I'm going to give you one second lead time. so it'll uh, be 10 when it gets there. Okay. Stand by for 10. Two. Mark. Right, 10 minutes, we're right with you. Add to the burn, we're going to uh, clean up the spacecraft. And I uh, think the three of us will shave. And then uh, want to do some exercise for the exerciser. I suspect that'll occupy most of the rest of the day. Roger. They don't have much of a schedule for the day, after all. They're just waiting to get to the moon. Oh, I'm a little bit... shoot. Mid-course correction to burn is uh, scheduled uh to be 8.8 .8 seconds in duration. I'm high. Way high, wow. A little bit deceptive there. Typical of me.
Whoa, shoot. Gosh darn it. These, like, those upper thrusters Just too far. I swear the brakes, I, I put everything on. on. The brakes were just not very effective. That's disappointing. Oh well. At least, you know, we didn't die or anything. Wish I had a brake indicator inside. That's one good thing about uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, the little brake indicator on the control. corner. Uh, we now read uh, 30 hours, uh, Underappreciated, I'll tell you. Flight of Apollo 12. Continuing to monitor uh, these preparations for the mid-course correction to burn. I sort of wanted them to get through the burn during this flight, but I guess we're not going to hear that. I'm going to pause the audio right there. So the next flight is going to be with the Concorde to uh, Keflavik, which is uh, in Iceland, of course. Hopefully a relatively quick flight, and I'll start it in daylight, so we'll skip the night. And so... Despite a somewhat sloppy landing this time, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.